it's me, Alex, and today we're reviewing gardening supplies from Wish. And it's me, Alex, and I'm reviewing gardening supplies from Wish. And Sam, I suppose I do my own intros these days. I've been getting into gardening a little bit lately, and when I say a little bit, I mean a lot. Look, I grew these radishes, and I, I picked them all out of the ground, and I was very proud. So... Have you been growing something else? There's no radishes there, Alex. Now, if you've watched my Wish hauls before, then you'll know that um, Wish is a fun place. It's a... It's like the promise of saving you money, but the number of items that show up that are just abominable and you cannot use them at all, it's like, did it save you money? Yeah. So we're gonna waste Alex's money to find out if it's a waste of money and whether or not you should get it too. Exactly. So I'm seeing the total of $456, I'm like, okay, that's a bit of money, but then also under that, just the shipping alone, 211. I half, so when you buy anything on Wish, literally half the cost of the item is shipping. That is just bonkers. So yes, I spent, $668 on the stuff on this table and also there's a few other things too that aren't on this table that are in the garden. Those things? Yes. Oh, that's included in that price? No, it's not. Oh. I was gonna say, if that was included in that no, price, no. oh, it's worth it. But no. So th that is just what's on this that's table. That's just what's on this table. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I've got my ballpark in my mind and I'm gazing around this table. I'm thinking to myself, I don't know if it was worth that much, but we'll see. You picked a terrible place to start. It's a bird on a straw. So what's awkward about this is... It's just plastic. Yeah. It was supposed to be glass. <laughs> it ain't. This is called the Plant Waterer Self-Watering Globes Bird Shape Hand Blown Clear Glass Aqua Bulbs. Look, don't they look lovely? That's not the same thing. That is not the same thing. There is no way. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is ask for a refund. Contact support, here we go. How can I help you with this? Please select a response. Incorrect item. Well, no, 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 item did not meet expectations. No, it's incorrect. It's not that it didn't meet expectations. It's plastic and it said it was hand blown glass. It mm, says, oh, yeah, okay. thanks for letting us know. Can you tell me what's incorrect about your order so I can make things right? I item is not the item purchased. We are so sorry that your item is not the item you purchased. We want to fix this for you. Please describe and upload a photo that illustrates your issue. The, the fact that this bounces on a table tells me it ain't glass. The listing says hand blown glass, but the item is plastic. Uh, let's pull out my webcam. All right. Oh, look, don't we look cute? Come, take a selfie. Thanks, Pretty Pastel, please. We've issued you a refund. Wow, they are really quick at replying and checking pictures. Please allow 10 business days for the credit to show up in your account. You don't need to return the item. Before you go, let us know if you found this helpful. I did. Next item. Next item is watering apparati. I believe that's the plural of apparatus. We have a deep enema bottle. <laughs> and this one, this one is a goddamn rake. But again, oh, it's, so it's like cute. a gnome sized rake. It's a back rake. Oh, back Yes. Okay, this is straight up an anima kit. <laughs> this is... It's a d It's a d Straight up a d A... I don't even know. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. What is that? B plug? Oh, my husband's calling. Scissors? Hello. Hey, there you go. Good. I Are you... I was just going to say I'm on my way home. <gasps> um, do you want us to order dinner? What do you want? You want a meatball sub? Yeah, sure. What do you have on it? Lettuce, tomato, olives, red onion. Red onion. Okay. Got it, got it. What sauce? Pizza Aioli. sauce? Aioli. Okay. What else? Oh, um, this is cute. Scissors? No, they're not scissors. They're mini shearers. That's, that's kind of cool. That's like, but... Sam, can, can we film a video where I cut your hair using those? Oh my god. <laughs> One eternity later. You want the dog scissors? It's a 16-piece transplanting tools, mini gardening tools kit, mini fairy garden planting, gardening hand tools, set gardening tools. Ah, there we go. Ah, uh, you punch it down to create a hole to stick a seedling into. I don't know what that fork thing is meant to be. That's to intimidate the plant. You better <laughs> f*** 
you grow. better grow. You better eat fresh. Oh shit, we should order the food. Oh shit. I've been wondering what's in this bread loaf package. Bread loaf. It kind of looks. It looks like a bread loaf. Oh, show them. Yeah, it kind of looks like a, a slice of toast. Oh, I think I broke it. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. It's got all its legs. Wait. These are too That's not a frog. No. <gasps> look harder. Is this Bulbasaur? That's Bulbasaur! Ah, shit. Nice. Where's his lump? His lump? Heathen. His special Pokemon sack is going to be the succulent that you plant in him. Oh, that's cute. Bigums was. $13 with $2 shipping. The little ones was $4 with $2 shipping. So uh, they came in many different what? sizes. I rate that. Like price wise, yeah. I'm like, that's when you'd, you'd expect at a nursery for something like yeah, that. Yeah, these are actually great. Yeah. I, I cannot fault them. They are what they are in the picture. No refund required. You know what? I've got a succulent for him right now. Oh, do it. You thought you were coming here for a gardening haul. No, no. You're getting the full gardening experience. You wait. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's not a good sound. What's? When someone looks after your house for you while you're away, be sure to stress the importance of don't water my succulents. Don't water the succulents. I did stress the importance of don't water them to my mum, but she watered them. Succulents want to suffer, and if you treat them well, they will not thank you for it. Uh, I was going to put him in there, but there's not much of him left. So uh, I'm gonna find some succulents to plant up in these, but these are wonderful. Yeah, they're great. These are so nice. I rate those. Three-way meter. I've never had a meter for three ways before. Measures moisture content of soil, lets you know when to water, helps to determine if the plant is getting adequate light. Well, I can already tell you the uh, light meter is absolutely rooted because uh, if, I, if, I, if I cover the, the light meter thing, it, it does not move off of dark. Oh dear. That's a shame. Well, let's see if it can test moistness. So this was $8 with $3 shipping, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is about, I think, what I paid at Bunnings for a moisture meter, so it didn't really save any money. But this one is not just a moisture meter. It's a three-in-one soil meter, light, water, and pH. The moisture meter didn't move. It didn't move. Yeah, it didn't move at all. It didn't move. Wait, is it broken? It's not moving. And this is very moist because it's it's really really wet. Oh, yep. So we're gonna call that work. one a fail. Hang on, maybe there's some instructions. Probe should be inserted into the soil at a depth at least two thirds. Oh, okay, so we can't ten use ten centimeters. Can't use just the tips if you have a deeper pot because that's I that's do. Less than I have more plants. All right, bring back a pot. Check these guys. Okay. Okay. No, they're not dying. They're just sleeping. They close up when they sleep. Did that move? No, it didn't. It didn't move. What if I switch to pH side? What does that do? Nothing. Nothing. So, three piece brown wooden barrel planter for pots. $20 with $21 shipping. What you're looking at here was $41. Looking at the size of those flowers, in my head when I ordered it, I didn't look at the measurements. I was just like, oh yes, big thing of flowers. It's probably going to be about this big. But it was, oh, here's Daniel. Daniel's back. 40 bucks, that feels like a bit of a kick in the teeth. $40 is a lot, actually. I didn't notice that the shipping was $20 when I put the order through. I was just like, oh yes, $20 for a set of three pots, that's totally fine. This is a very light timber, so I don't know how this is going to hold up under... Yes, it is, amu it is amusing, isn't it? <laughs> And he saw this. Sam's nipple just poke up. <laughs> oh Jesus! But um, yeah. Look, I'm going to be interested to see how these handle getting water inside. No, you them. wouldn't get water inside them. You'd have to put the, the like, oh, something you want the without pot a, inside a yeah, it without would, it would have to be like a non-drainage hole yeah. pot inside because I feel like this would just get wrecked if it got wet. Next, grab anything. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, these are. Alex, you've been holding out on me. Alex, you need to let me live out my Lady Demetrio dreams. <laughs> the dress is the wrong colour, but guys, guys, <laughs> were these claws? I want to dig a hole with these. These are, wait, hold on a second. <gasps> which one is Freddy and which one is Jason? Shh, I'm having a moment here. Perfect. Exactly how gardening should be. You know what creeps me out about these? The fact that they're not just claws, but they're like 
split, each one is split into two. It kind of reminds me, you know the, the little baby hands that you can get to stick on your fingers? It's kind of like that. <laughs> the quality is good for, for a pair of gardening gloves and the fact that these would make digging and scratching around the dirt so much, God, I sound like a pet. I lived like my pet chickens for a day. <laughs> Literally girls with acrylics anyway. Okay, these are so cute. I had to get these because uh, some of you guys know I have pet chickens. Okay, this was a five piece set and it cost $5 with $2 shipping. They're a little bit smaller than I thought they were going to be. Uh, just based on, look at this picture. Look at the size of the mm. tree. Look at the size of the chicken. Okay, yeah, they, they've... Uh... I could ride that chicken into battle. This one, well, uh, he could sit on my shoulder like Archie. They're oh, okay. definitely a lot smaller than I expected, but... Yeah, but you spent a grand total on what was shipping. So it was $5 with uh, $2 shipping. <laughs> you know what? Seven bucks, a little bit more than it, like a dollar fifty each. Worth it. Yeah, worth it. Worth it. Worth it. <gasps> Way! Oh my god. It's so much smaller than I thought oh, it would be. Oh, it's cute though! Oh, this is lovely courtyard dragon sculpture resin window shaped statue wall art home outdoor decoration. He was $18 with $7 shipping. Yes. Yes? I... 18 plus 7 is... I know, it's, it's 20 something bucks, but... If you if you like this twenty five, if you wanted that as a hanging piece, I kind of feel as if at a shop. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Can we just look at the expression on the one in the picture and the expression on mine? He looks like he's been uh, eating some things from my garden that maybe weren't supposed to be consumed. What what are you what showing is me? What is this? Oh, are these ring lights? But literally oh. rings for oh, lights. Oh, that is not what I thought it was. All right, so it says three rings. Ah, so these are UV LEDs. What? Well, it says growing light, oh. full spectrum. So yes. I'm guessing these are UV LEDs. These were thirty-two dollars with nine dollars shipping. Oh look, here's the same things. That is nineteen dollars from eBay. I think we can confirm now you paid a bit much. I paid a lot a much, much. A lot But much. let's see if they work. Ready? Ready, Freddy. No, I'm Jason. Whoa. You're Freddy. This plant reacts to light. So can you pop these in there? How about we go eat our dinner and we leave the plant on camera with a bit of a time lapse and it can wake up. Are you like just confusing your plan? You're like, hey, it's 6 a.m. at up. 6 p.m. Wake up! All right, let's go eat our dinner and okay. leave this to wake up. Let's do it. So while this little guy is growing, let's take a quick moment to talk about how you can grow with today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes available to help people explore new interests and get lost in creativity. I want to highly recommend Christopher Griffin's class, Plants at Home, Uplift Your Spirit and Your Space which is an excellent guide if you're wanting to start or grow your plant family. They have suggestions for which plant is the best match for you, how to recognize and interpret the signs on their roots, leaves and soil to best care for them, and all the tips, tricks and wisdom they've learned on their plant parent journey. So no matter what inspires you or what you're looking to learn, Skillshare can help you discover your potential. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. And with that, thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and uh, let's get on with the unboxing. Well, they hardly work up at all. That is most unfortunate. This is a planting gardening insert propagation plant seeds grow box nursery box garden and it was $3.30 with $2.70 shipping. I don't know what else to tell you folks, it's, it's made like a takeaway container. And uh, I, I suppose it's going to do the job. I'm just gonna put some seeds in it and hope that they grow. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my fingers got stuck together. What is the most cursed thing you can think of? Bin chickens, um, those squealing chickens that they go. <gasps> yeah, they're pretty cursed. This is cursed. What the f is that? <laughs> Banana goose? Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding. Banana, Banana duck. duck! He's called Funny Creative Resin Little Banana Duck. <laughs> Little Banana Duck. He was $19 with $6 shipping. And he's worth every cent. Yeah, for the fun value. <laughs> Look at this picture. This. <laughs> Jesus, if you bought six of them. Just Hang on. For, for the funsies. Look how big those ones are. 
20 centimeters by 15 centimeters, and yet this is what they show in the picture. But they uh, use the art of perspective photography to really throw you off. I'll, I'll I would say it's the art of Photoshop, to be fair. Show me more cursed things. Oh! Now that one looks like it could be glass. Hold this on. Is... Wait, wait. Yep, it's glass. glass. Seven shapes, house plant, mm. plant pot, self-watering, bulbs plant. This one was advertised as glass and it has come as glass. And yep. this is what I was expecting from the birds, except the birds are plastic. See, there's the birds. There's the birds. Mm. And the birds turned up and they were plastic. Mm. They are plastic, right? Yeah, that's, that's I'm not straight imagining up plastic. It, right? Like, observe. If I do this, it's bouncing off and the look, table. this one's I glass. Would, I wouldn't... These are kind of cool, mm. so you... Fill them from here with water, and then you invert it, and you stick it in your plant, and uh, it'll slowly water it for you. That's so cute! Yeah. Look. Fill it with water, blood of your enemies, whatever helps them grow. This next one, we didn't do this. It arrived like this. It did arrive in styrofoam, but unfortunately, it arrived like this. Oh dear, They're, these aren't meant to be two separate pieces, are they? I think not. Ah. Tudor and Turek sitting fairy statue garden ornament yard art decor for outside. He was $13, or she, with $8 shipping. And now it is... Pixie girl sitting in forest with her friend Butterfly. Because it arrived broken, contact support. Item arrived damaged. damaged. Oh look, go. item is counterfeit. Item does not match listings I thought everything on Wish was counterfeit. Please upload one or more photos of the item. Three, two, one. Are there any other details you can provide for us? She looks like Omega from The Bad Patch. Ah, oh, she do. Rekka. Rekka. Oh, my Rekka. wings. More content. Oh. What is this? This is hilarious. <laughs> and actually kind of cool. And I think Dan's going to love this. Okay. All right, close your eyes. This is how you turn one of your trees at home into a tree beard. How's that? Stunning. This listing came with multiple different variants. Now, some of them were, let's just say, a little bit more appealing than others. So this was $14 with $7 shipping. Mm. And he's called Easter Tree Faces Decor Garden Outdoor Funny Old Man Tree Sculpture. Look, I think it's an ant. Thank you very much. It's an ant. Look, these, oh. these are the different faces. Oh my god, that's haunting. We are Groot. Oh, you got a Groot cup. Oh, he's a cup, he's a planter. It's he's whatever even... you want to do with it. If you want to put liquid in that and drink it, you can. No, you can't, because he has a drainage hole in the bottom. This is a cup that never fills. So he was $9 with $3 shipping. He's totally worth it for the price. That is horrifying. Look, they put a succulent in there that looks like a brain. Everything that's been a joke so far, like the banana duck, the the ant thing like my YouTube these, career. your YouTube career everything that's been a joke we've been looking at the price and it can be on the high end we're like no no that's worth it for the funny yeah yeah for the lols <laughs> next next wait okay Alex what are these I've been avoiding them because they kind of just look like bags they are bags Sam these are grow bags people like grow bags because container gardening is uh quite trendy at the moment especially with uh, the panini and people staying at home and wanting to become a bit more self-sufficient but some people don't have a huge amount of space yeah so that was thunder wow thunderbolts and lightning very very frightening me this is a DIY potato grow planter planting container bag vegetable gardening jardineria thicken garden pot planting grow bag. This was $8 with $2 shipping, so it was 10 bucks. And people like container gardening because you can grow things in small spaces. And it has a convenient little flap. I just realized, so I'm guessing they say it's for potatoes because it's so for you flap, can just, just like reach and pluck potatoes. a potato out. It's just, it's, it's just a lily pad. So this is oh. potato grow planter garden bed. These were $18. Basically, you're supposed to use it like a raised garden bed. So you're supposed to stick it on the ground and throw some potatoes and some dirt and then send your child to water it. I guess the thing was to me, when I saw the child, I thought, this is a human child and uh, human childs are this big. And the bag I, I is- I think she looks a bit bigger than that. Well, the, this big. <laughs> I was judging perspective wise off the child and then the bag and then I figured, all right, it's gonna be a certain size and it's smaller than that. But I guess looking at the picture, actually, it, it kind of 
kind of is exactly what's in the picture, isn't it? And no. All right, I'm opening the briefcase. This was $45 Ooh. with $10 shipping. So this cost $55. All right. What the f have you done to your arm? Have you been scratching yourself? Maybe. Oh, that's it terrifying. It feels so good. <laughs> Stop it, stop it, I don't like that. So this $55 for my little purple gardening kit. I'm not mad, I'm not mad. The day that this arrived, I was like, what is this? Because I could hear it rattling around. I was like, what the hell is that? All of the tools had come loose while it was shipping. Oh so it, of course. He was just making this huge racket. So I opened it up and I went, ah, it's so cute. Then Daniel came in to see what I was screaming at and then he went, ah, it's so cute. Maybe a little bit expensive, but also, it's a little purple suitcase with floral tools in it. It's a 10 piece, I think it's a 10 piece set. So we've got tiny, tiny shovel, little back scratcher, the sharp one, secateurs, a spritzer. This is huge. What does this do? <gasps> what up? 20,000 likes and Alex cuts Sam's hair with gardening shears. Please just leave 19,000 and call it even. I'm really, really, really happy. And the quality. I mean, look, I wouldn't say that they're well made, but I wouldn't say they're terrible. I actually think you could give someone this as a gift. Not an experienced gardener. Don't go giving Grandpa Eric this kit for Christmas because he's been gardening for 70 years and he knows what good tools are. But if your girlfriend's just gotten into gardening or your partner is thinking of growing some tomatoes or something and you got them this as a present, I think they'd actually really, really like it. It's, it's not bad, but don't, uh, don't take my word for it until I actually do some gardening with it because for all we know I could ram this into the soil and the top could break off. It will last two days. Look, if it lasts three, I'll be happy. Ah, I see. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? What did you do? Nothing. Hang on. Where's the hose? It said 200, oh. 175, 125, 75, 50, 25, expandable, flexible, water gun, hose, pipe, car garden, wash gun, watering spray gun, nozzle. So I thought I was getting the hose, like in the picture. Yeah. Seeing as the hose that I thought I ordered did not turn up, I'm gonna have to just attach this to my own hose, but we have a shower function, jet, mist, full, cone, center, flat and back to shower. So we'll give these a try in the garden, but this feels really, really crappy. Mind you, when you get the plastic ones from your local hardware store, they are always a little bit crap. You, end, you have to end up spending about $30 before you start edging towards the good ones of these. And these are notorious. If anyone's used these, I'm sure you know, you buy the crappy ones for the first three times. They last about two months at most, and then they start leaking everywhere. And then one day you're like, fine, I'll spend $53 and get the good quality brass one, and then it lasts. Funny that. For one extra month and then that breaks too. Oh. <laughs> and uh, the last thing. Oh, this is actually, hang on, no, you lift that, I'll lift this, because that's a little bit heavy. If you could so kindly, not like that, not like that. This was 80, you hit the chicken. That's all right. This was $80 plus $9 shipping. It was expensive, but also I'm hoping it's worth it because it's actually a very interesting product. So what it was advertised as is garden windmill, 146 centimeters metal ornaments, outdoor decor, ornamental windmill, and then it says weather vane. Indicates wind direction and speed. Smooth spinning generates wind power for an environmentally friendly lifestyle. No, no, no. Did you just say this generates wind power? Rain gauge, barrow, thermo, hygrogram. But go back. Did this actually say it's meant to generate wind power? Well, that's what it says just here. Generates wind power for an environmentally friendly lifestyle. Nowhere in here is there a transformer. A power bank. Alex, I'm not a weatherman. I don't know how to calibrate this. Were there instructions? Uh, no, it's from Wish. What do you expect? All right, well, uh, look, that's everything that's arrived. There are still a fair few things left to arrive, but this video is going to be filmed over the course of a couple of weeks, and uh, yeah. uh, we have time for the other things to turn up. I so... may or may not be here in the next one, uh, but you can guarantee that I will have these on me at all times. So uh, we're going to uh, go watch TV now. Nice. Uh, it's evening time. Yep. Night time. Daytime. Night time. Daytime. Daytime. So uh, we will 
wait until tomorrow and then we'll come back tomorrow we're gonna plant some seedlings we're yep. gonna assemble some things we're gonna set up my little garden nice. and uh get to growing because you know what i've learned guys when you have that initial thought of i'd really like to plant uh cucumbers and then you go yeah yeah that's a good idea and then five weeks later when you go Oh yeah, I should have planted those cucumbers. If you'd planted them, you'd be halfway to eating them by now, so why wait? Plant them today. Uh, but today is actually going to be tomorrow, because we're not going to do it tonight. Yeah, yeah. We so, better do it tomorrow. Mm, we will. We will? We Maybe. Well, Sam. What? <laughs> <laughs> Would you say... What? <laughs> ...that we are the best uh, procrastinators that we know. How long has it been? Do you know when that video was filmed? Well, see, see, you've been the one editing it. So you've seen the timestamps. I, I, I have not been paying attention, and I don't know Monday from Thursday. I don't... What about 2021 from 2022? Oh, you're telling me we're in 2022 and it was filmed in 2021? Do you know what month in 2021? Okay, so we're in May now. Wait, are we in May? We're no, in we're May. In okay, we're in May. That's month five. It wasn't done around Christmas time. It was... Was it in October? It was May. <laughs> it's been a year since we filmed that video. And we didn't do any of the things we said we'd do. But... You're telling me I'm a year older and I'm still wearing these things? They just like them that much. They're actually also, really good. They were slightly cursed and he couldn't physically remove them. Mm -hmm. I, you look so terrified right now. I'm sorry. Oh, is it, is it the hat? Or is it the hands that I can't remove? They're not too bad. <laughs> like, curses aside, they're not terrible. It's just that I have accidentally poked my eyes out a couple of times, but... They grow back. They grow back. It's part of the curse. I have to live this way and I can't die. So I thought quickly, it's midnight. So I thought quickly um, I would show you how some of these things have held up over the past year. They don't have any holes in them. Yeah. They've actually, uh, I mean, they've, they kind of go a bit sticky in the sun, mm. but- Also part of the curse. You have to live like this, but not well. A year of using these extensively. They have outlived many of my other gloves that are made from similar material that have ended up with holes in them that I paid so much money for from actual gardening stores. So these- I think the trick is the hard heavy duty plastic that is stopping the holes from forming in the gloves. Something else that's actually held up that you said wouldn't, you said your Sorry, your I exact can't hold words. very well with these cursed fingers. Your exact words were It will last two days. It's been a whole year and I'm still using the little purple tools. Uh, oh, the the really flowers have faded um, off them. They are white. Oh, actually, no, I can There's see a, a bit the, of the you colour. You can see a tiny Just little bit of the colour, but most of the pattern mm -hmm. faded off. But they still work, and okay. you know what's crazy? The little secateurs, these are my go-to secateurs. They get a little bit stuck. Are oh, you telling me they don't spring back? <laughs> I leave these out in the rain, and they've That's hardly rusted. probably why. <laughs> they're stuck, Alex. But they, they're still cutting. They cut really big, thick things. Please don't do that dress like that. Hi. It's terrifying. My utensils. The chickens. We have still... Uh, Three, there might be a fourth somewhere. One of them snapped in half. I don't know how it happened. I just found it in pieces, but there's still- Wow, that sounds like the most shoddy alibi in the world. <laughs> I, I don't, don't know, know how, how it, it died. Happened. I found them like this. <laughs> I got one of these to replace the one that didn't work when it arrived. Uh, this one cost about the same amount as the Wish one, but this one was from a hardware store and this one has been working perfectly. So for things like this, I would say probably don't go to Wish. The little dragon, you guys might remember, um, it's in here somewhere. Ah, there he is. Hello. <laughs> There he is. Oh, wow, that is actually really cute. Yeah, and he, before my Malabar spinach grew bigger than Sam's head, oh God, that's so scary. Uh, this used to get full sun all day and he didn't fade. He's, Sam, that's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else held up really, really well? What? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> the blood of your enemy. Oh, um, it's just such a satisfying crunch. The windmill. Yes. Oh, oh, this end of the garden. Oh God, there's, there's the neighbor's dog again. We weren't even making it. Literally, your finger touching the windmill. It's rusted in some spots, yes, but also, yeah. I literally haven't even noticed that until today. 
this is the first time I've looked at it that closely that that one has a little bit of rust on it but I move this all around the garden because it's just so adorable oh and what's that up there behind Sam a tree no <laughs> the wish oh. greenhouse and the wish gazebo oh. look it's a oh, sneak yeah. peek nice um, I'm not going to show you guys too closely because that's going to be in part two so with that thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in part two bye